My name is Maximilian Janisch. I was born on the 8th of August 2003, and I am now a PhD student at the University of Zurich uh, under the supervision of Ashka Nikigbali. I've been doing mathematics uh, ever since I was nine years old, and uh, I, I, I find it very interesting. So one of the, there's I think two main things that I see. So the first one that I find very interesting is that we are starting to understand better how to model the market using non-independent events. So in probability theory, usually you always assume, or it's very convenient to assume that the events that happen are independent in time. For example, that the stock returns are independent of each of past stock returns, for example. And I think we can develop more powerful mathematical theories, theories nowadays where this, is not, this assumption is not in there, so where the stock returns may depend on, past, uh, on the past history of the stock. And this could be used in algorithms, this could be used in machine learning to better um, model and to better behave, uh, for example, in high-frequency trading. That is the first thing. The second thing that I find quite interested, interesting is you, could use machine, you can use machine learning, there's some research on this, in credit risk modeling. So for credit risk, usual models are, for example, so-called copula models. They are quite stiff, they're quite restrictive. Um, they are very popular, but there are machine learning methods, for example, they're so-called restricted Boltzmann machines, which can be used to better model credit risk and to get better results than the current uh, things we use. Sure, so one of the most, um, one of the interesting questions in biology, biology is nowadays, you have data in very high dimensions. So you collect data, you, you have a patient, you collect uh, data from them, you, you, use bi you track a lot of biomarkers in them, you have data in maybe 20,000 dimensions. One question is how do you represent this data in lower dimensions? So when you want to, for example, classify cells, when you want to um, um, sort of uh, visualize your results, how can you do this in a good way? And so this is a, a very interesting question for biologists, and I've been even thinking about uh, um, starting a startup in the direction of making data visualizable, making uh, these projections uh, mathematically efficient. So this is something that I'm very interested in in biology. Yes, so this is, a, they are all questions that can be partially answered at least using tools from probability theory, which is the part of math that I, I like a lot. And so I am personally interested in those. This is what I want to work on now and in the, in the next few years, yeah. So one thing that I really like is that I think we, we live in a sort of golden age for mathematics. That's my opinion. We are in a time where we can really use very abstract ideas, very abstract results, and use them to solve concrete problems. To in the finance, in biology, we can build. Again, I'm thinking of uh, creating a startup. This is a concrete thing that is based on abstract ideas that come from very abstract results that a hundred years ago maybe a few people in some academic uh, castle cared about and no one else did, but nowadays this is uh, uh, these same abstract ideas are suddenly very important in the, in the real world. That's what keeps me going.